Hello everybody and welcome back to a new update from the heart of the harbor today because we are in this part of the city and we're going to modify the shrimp shack diner of the hidden side theme now you can already see that i have mirrored this building and yeah i don't know if that was really necessary that was before my plans were final for this but at that time i thought it would be better to have this being mirrored and we're going to continue the story of the sugar thieves sugar smugglers however you want to call them cookie crooks we're going to continue that story of minifigs in the city who do not obey the ban on sugar who still bring in sugary items into this population into the city and of course the sugar has to be brought into the city in order to be put into donuts and cookies and stuff like that and that is what we're going to focus on today so this shrimp shack diner is not just a diner it is also the place where the sugar is stored which comes from overseas but enough talking it's time to get to work and that's what i have so far so i've just built this little elevated section here so it's elevated by two bricks and the red area, that is mainly where I'm going to build the Shrimp Shack Diner. And yeah, I'm going to do that right now. So as you can see, I've just built some sand on this side and some plants. So a little bit of detail, but not too much so far. So yeah, now let's continue with the actual building. As you can see, this time I have started with the interior instead of the exterior. So you can see that we have the chessboard floor design, which was in the original hidden side shrimp shack diner as well. And yeah, I've separated this room into two sections. So we have the left side with the red seats with the red chairs and we have the right side which is basically the the kitchen area of the whole uh, shrimp shack diner basically everything from the original set we have a, a water dispenser here we have pepper and salt so some little details here and there and then here outside on the what is going to be the exterior we just have those barrel tables which were in the original set as well so I just continued that design and then we have some landscape here some scenery so I just wanted to integrate this whole build more into that landscape here and yeah we have some planks for stairs and I tried to make this as random and as natural looking as possible. And as you can see over on this side, I also tried to integrate the train tracks here more into the scene. It doesn't look perfect yet, but it looks better than before. And now I'm going to add the actual building. So I'm going to add the walls of the Shrimp Shack Diner. And here we have the finished exterior. So we have also some minifigures already here. And as you can see, I have continued the design with those sand blue window frames and those dark bluish gray window shutters. And yeah, I have bought some more of those stickers. So every sand blue panel has one of those stickers on there around the entire building here so i really like this look lego did a really good job on the original set there and i tried to continue that design as best as possible and as you can see on the inside we have some sailors celebrating and yeah then we just have chef enzo and the waitress here and she is handing a hot dog to a kid outside and yeah that is the shrimp shack diner so far but now of course we still need the roof and i'm going to add that one right now and that is the final result so as you can see i have kept the design of the roof as good as possible i've added a second sticker here on one of those one by eight tiles and i've also added a skylight to well make this roof more interesting because just having a plain dark bluish gray roof would have been a bit boring and i like skylights so that's why that is here and of course we still have the old 
Shrimp Shack Diner sign. So that is still there. Now that is it for the building, but it's not the end for the story of this building because as you can see right here, we have two trap doors and you've guessed it, beneath those trap doors, we have a box of sugar bags. Sugar is of course prohibited in the entire city and it's pretty, pretty difficult to well produce anything sweet without sugar. Of course you have some replacement ingredients but they don't taste as good as sugar to be honest. So sugar is brought in from overseas and in order to store it they need a place like this. Something where they can hide the sugar before they transport it over to the donut factory where the donuts are made. So this Shrimp Shack Diner is the entry for the sugar into the city and then it's distributed to various places like the donut factory and so many more. So the owner of this Shrimp Shack Diner has a little side hustle here going on. So that is it for today's update. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Till then, have a good day, have a great time, and I see you in the next video. Bye.